going into, into Milrose, I know we talked about, like, I think you can run 420. Like, I, I remember having conversations, like, I think you can run 420 the way your workouts are going. And I said, that's probably what the race will probably be, you know, similar to that pace. So you just stay with the leaders and see what happens. And uh, she did, you know. <laughs> She's like this sweet person that you don't think could kill somebody on the track. But when she toes the line, you better look out because she is a competitor. A very good one at that. Where are you running? Is there like a trail around here? Or are you just doing a You've never run here before? No. Well, I ran around here area. I thought you guys did it one time when I wasn't here. No? Is it pavement? Uh, no, it's like... So today we're just meeting in Lincoln, Mass. Um, we meet here pretty often. We haven't been here in a while, but I've been away for a little bit, so I haven't really seen everybody, and I'm, I just love when we meet back up and get to spend, you know, the morning together, and you know, we're all really great friends, so it's, it's nice to kind of catch up and, and just, um, be around our friends in the morning. Oh, bully that one dude. He's still out numbers. Sucks for that guy. <laughs> Everybody ran really, really well indoors. So I'm, you know, we're extremely happy. You know, where we came out of the um, indoor season, and now um, we're focusing on the trials. But we're going up to Flagstaff next week. We did a pretty big trip to Flag this past winter, and so we got in a couple races and now we've just been doing some you know more you know general base training and then um, when we get out there we'll train a little bit harder I mean, the first time I heard of Ellie was um, when I was coaching up at Dartmouth College and there was this phenom from way up in northern Vermont who was just kicking butt and winning races and won the Nike Regionals. And so I just kind of started following her when I was coaching at Dartmouth. And um, I knew her lifestyle and what she was up to. I knew that she actually like grew up on a farm, whether it's like raking out the barn or milking cows or helping her dad do something. You know, I knew that she did chores in the morning went to school all day, and then had practice. So she was our top priority coming out of um, college that year. <laughs> we both really liked her, and we knew what a great job um, Hop was doing with her at UNH, not killing her. She was at UNH when Abby Diagostino was at Dartmouth, so we were like kind of comparing notes, you know. So I knew that like she was a little undertrained, a little underdeveloped. You know, once she got comfortable in running against really good people, that she was going to take off. Oh, it was, it was nice. Um, we tried out a new trail. Um, it was pretty nice on the dirt and. Uh, good to catch up with the girls and just stretch our legs before the workout tomorrow. Um, we're all just really good friends. I, I think you know it brings a great amount of energy to the to the run, being with your friends and talking about normal stuff. Like we spend so much time together, um, especially on these big training trips and stuff. So we've become really close, and um, you know it's just like being with your family. Pre-COVID, Monday through Friday, we'd have practice every day and everybody would be here. And then we'd only meet on the weekends as a team if like it was a big workout or something like that. But with COVID, Ellie's been up in her farm a little bit more in Vermont, but every, the rest of us have been getting together every day. Well, it's been like a weird year. Like this past year, I've been mostly there. You know, like we've mostly been in Flagstaff. When I am here, I just try to make the most of my time at home. You know, when I when I do go there, I just try to enjoy it as, as best I can and know that all these big trips away are, are well worth it. Do you, do you know both sides are gonna be hydraulic? Both corners. Yeah. 
right on this campus where we are right now, right next door we, is the Boston Bruins practice facility. And right next to that is the Boston Celtics practice facility. And across the street is going to be the track at New Balance, which is going to be the home of uh, New Balance Boston. And it's, this is going to be the fastest indoor track in the world where we can set some American records, world records, and have people from all over the world come here and race. So we're really looking forward to that team has not seen the track, so I'm super excited to get them in there. So loyal. Oh, okay. Oh, Whoa. Whoa, no way. The only four installation is that come out on hydraulics, and there's, what, 17, 1800 seats there, and then we have what's called the crow's nest up top, and you can see the tiered oh, wow. cement, and that's really standing room only, so. Oh, it's so amazing. It's just really exciting to um, you know, picture myself here and with the team um, practicing here and especially racing here. It looks like it's coming along. Just, you know, I, I just can't help but think about all the memories that I'm going to make here, especially because we've been, you know, hearing about it so much and just waiting and waiting. And so it's really cool to see it progress this much. First of all, it's huge. It is so big. Like even just the amount of people that can fit here in this track alone, let alone like the other spaces they have are um so big which is exciting that's the stage right there oh okay. and the, the seats will be here no, no seats no, no. Oh, sorry. all standing room yeah, that they, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be a test at the end of this and who was listening <laughs> not <laughs> ellie <Not LA. laughs>going to be so exciting. You can already tell based on the space up or downstairs and how open it is and how much like it's going to be an experience as well as a track meet. You know, they have the bar and the concessions and everything and like the luxury boxes. So, people will really be able to have like a whole experience here at the same time as like watching a track meet, which you don't really get in at a lot of track meets. So, I yeah, I think it'll be really great. And they're very interested in this case right here, so... Maybe Katrina's wedding. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Yeah, it's, like, awesome to finally see it. I feel like it's been in the works forever. And so to, like, actually see what it's going to look like in here, it's so much more open than what I was expecting. Um, with the windows, you can see, like... You can't see here, but you can see Boston out those windows, too, which is kind of cool to see the skyline. Okay. I literally, I remember seeing her break the American record and I was really excited, freaking out, but I was not surprised at all. Um, Ellie, I think, can medal. I've seen, well, I've seen Ellie for the past, you know, that UNH days and her progression, how she thinks, her mindset, and how she views the sport and how she runs in general. And I really think she, she might not think about it too much at all, but I seriously think she has the potential of probably winning an Olympic gold, but, you know, don't tell her that because then she'll freak herself out. But yeah, if, whatever she does after this, it really won't surprise me. Unless you broke four in a mile, which even then I'd be like, okay, that kind of makes sense. It's Ellie. <laughs> yeah. How fast can a mile be run on this track right here? What do you think? What do you think the mile PR will be for this track? Oh gosh. You know, I, I hope a little bit faster than 416. <laughs> <laughs> we all use Ellie as inspiration. It's amazing what she's doing every day. Like, it's honestly such a privilege to get to be on a team with her and she makes you believe in yourself and uh, we push each other and it's just a great atmosphere to be around. Ellie's like an incredible athlete and she's just got such a range like she can run a two flat in the 800 and then I mean who knows what she can run in the 5k this year maybe like a 14 30. Last year we would have been happy if she made the Olympic team but this year she should make the finals and she should be going after a medal. She's that good. She's not going to be intimidated by anybody. Come girls. This is a world-class athlete. Tough as nails. Can run hard. That has no quit in her. just like we're all just running great and it's just fun to go to practice and just get in super shape. They have confidence in me, I have confidence in them, Mark has confidence in us, like it's just kind of rolling off of each other. She's a homebody that wants to be back up in Vermont working on a farm, but when she toes the line, you better look out because she is a competitor, a very good one at that. Yeah.